Hi guys, this is Kalara Hudson of While They Play Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do shadow wrap short rows. If you take a look at this sock here, you can see we've created the heel cup of the sock with short rows, and these are shadow wrap short rows. As you can see, this sock does not have a heel flap, it just has our heel cup. And if we fold the sock here, you can see we've just created the cup of the heel in the sock with short rows. And instead of wrapping these short rows, we create twin and triplet stitches that are called shadow wraps. So I'm gonna show you how to create those. And I have here a piece of work that we're going to pretend is my sock. And we'll just say that I've knitted all of the length that I need before I'm ready to place my heel. And when you're ready to place your heel, remember that you're gonna be placing it on half of your sock stitches. So in this example, I have 36 stitches for my sock, and so half of that would be 18. And typically for short row heels, you're going to want to follow a rule of thirds, as it were, uh, which just means since we have 18 stitches where we're gonna place our heel, uh, divided by three would be six. So six of our stitches will go to the left of our heel, six will be on the right, and six will be in the middle. And those six in the middle, or a third of our heel stitches, will be unworked. We will not wrap and turn, um, or in this instance, we will not be creating shadow wraps with those middle third stitches. And that'll make more sense as I get to that portion of this video. So if you want, if it feels a little more comfortable, you can leave the foot portion of your stitches of your sock resting on your circular needle if you're using magic loop or resting on your DPNs and simply just work our heel stitches on a separate set of DPNs. So you can definitely do that, but in this video, I'm just gonna continue to use my circulars. Okay, and then another point I'd like to add is if you want a contrast color heel, this is the point that you wanna add in that contrast color yarn and start working your heel stitches. Okay, so this next needle that I'm ready to knit off of is going to be my heel stitches. And again, those are 18 stitches. So to begin the shadow wrap heel, I'm simply going to knit to the last stitch on my needle. Instead of placing a marker, I'm gonna show you a way to just create these shadow wraps without having to keep track of um, stitch markers. Okay, so we will knit to the last stitch on our needle. So for this example, that would be knit 17, but the pattern will usually tell you how many stitches to knit. Okay, so we've reached our last stitch on our left hand needle, and now we're ready to place our first shadow wrap. And to do this, I'm going to kind of rotate my work so you can see a little better. To create the shadow wrap, we're actually going to be working in the stitch one row below the stitch on our needle. So here's the row on our needle. One row below would be this stitch. And we're just gonna go in from right to left with our right needle tip and it insert it into that right leg. And we're gonna pull that up onto our left hand needle, purl wise and we're going to knit into the front of that stitch. And then we're gonna pull that off of our left-hand needle and then slip it back onto our left-hand needle purlwise. So as you can see, we've created twin stitches or two stitches out of our original knit stitch here in the row below. So that is our first shadow wrap. And now that we have it on our left-hand needle, we're simply going to turn our work just like a traditional wrap and turn. And now we have that wrap on our right hand needle. Now we're going to purl back the stitches on our left hand needle until we reach the last stitch on our left hand needle. So in this case, we had 17 stitches on our left hand needle, so we're going to purl 16. And again, it will say that in the pattern, how many stitches to purl or knit. Okay, so we've purled to our last stitch on our left hand needle. That is unworked, it's just a single stitch. Now we're ready to create our shadow wrap purl wise or an SWP in your pattern. So to do that, we wanna make sure 
Our working yarn is in the front of our work. And we're going to slip that stitch purl wise onto our right hand needle. And then we're going to use our left hand needle to insert into the stitch a row below. So if you take a look here, it just looks like a purl bump in the bottom of this stitch. You're going to insert your needle from bottom up and pick up that stitch. And instead of placing it on our right hand needle, we already have our yarn in the front of our work. So we're ready to just purl that stitch as we normally would. And then we're going to pull that off of our needle. Now we want to place both stitches that we just created purl wise onto our left hand needle. And that is our shadow wrap for our purl stitch. So if I rotate my work here, you can see there's our original purl stitch below, and we've created our shadow wrap or twin stitches out of that original stitch. And we already have it on our left hand needle. So now we're ready to turn our work. Keep that yarn to the back since we're on our knit side now. And I just make sure to cinch up your work here before continuing. But I want to stop and pause here for a moment to show you we have a shadow wrap on the right needle. And if you look over here at the end of our work, we have that shadow wrap that we created on the knit side. So you should always, when you come back to the right side of your work, you should always have an even number of wrapped stitches on the right and left side of your work. So now we're ready to knit back to the last unworked stitch and create our second shadow wrap or our SWK, our shadow wrap knit wise. So we'll cinch up our working yarn and we'll simply knit and it will tell you in your pattern again. In this case, I think it's uh, knit 15. But again, you don't have to keep track with stitch markers. You just want to remember to work to the last normal stitch on your row. And you can see it's pretty obvious here. That's our shadow wrap from before. And this is a normal stitch. So we just knit to the last normal stitch. And now we're ready to turn this knit stitch into a shadow wrap stitch. And again, you're just going to insert your right hand needle into the right bar of the stitch below. Pick that up and place it on the left hand needle purl wise and knit into that stitch as normal. Pull it off your left hand needle and then place it back on the left hand needle. And I'll rotate it here so you can see. You can see our original knit stitch from the row below, and we've created a double stitch, our first, uh, our shadow wrap. So we have two shadow wraps side by side. It's already on the left hand needle, so we're going to turn our work to the wrong side. And now we're ready to purl back to the last purl stitch. And again, you'll, you'll be reminded because you'll have that shadow wrap. You don't want to work that yet. And we're just going to continue this way, knitting to the last regular knit stitch and purling to the last regular purl stitch. So I'm going to speed this up and show you guys when we get to that point where we have a third of our stitches done. But before I do that, I'm going to show you the purl shadow wrap one more time. So again, front of your work, yarn to the front of your work and then slip purl wise and then insert your left hand needle into that purl bump below and purl that purl bump and then place both of those stitches back onto the left hand needle. There's your purl shadow wrap stitch and then turn your work. Okay, so I've done some more shadow wraps and as you can see here, I have just five shadow wraps on my right hand needle and I have two, four, five on my left hand needle. So I needed six. So I need to do one more knit shadow wrap. So I will knit to the last normal knit stitch. And you can see it's right there. I'm going to create that knit shadow wrap. Place that on my left hand needle and then I'll turn my work and now I'll do my last purl shadow wrap. Okay, if we take a look here, 
You can see that's our last regular purl stitch. So we'll shadow wrap that stitch. Place those two stitches back on our left hand needle. And then we'll turn our work. Now we should be at the point where we've created our short rows of our heel. We'll count our stitches. We should have six. So six on the right needle. And then on the left needle, you'll have six regular knit stitches, which we do in the middle here. And then six shadow wraps to the left of the regular stitches. So we know at this point we are done with our short rows. You can see that we've created that little heel cup. Now we need to close up those shadow wrap stitches. And to do that, it's going to be worked a little bit differently. Your pattern will tell you how many stitches to work normal, but we're going to knit the six regular stitches on our left hand needle. And then when we get to that first shadow wrap, we're simply going to knit those shadow wrap stitches together as if they were one. So basically a knit two together. So we'll go in through both stitches and simply knit them. So as you can see, it appears to be one stitch. Now, before we turn our work, we want to turn this shadow wrap, the twin stitches into three stitches before we turn our work. And this is going to be done similarly to the twin stitch shadow wrap. So we're going to pick up that stitch below, place it on the left hand needle and knit it by itself. Remove that stitch from the needle and then place it back onto the left hand needle purl wise. So now as you can see we have three stitches coming out of our original knit stitch. So this is a triple stitch. Now since they're on our left hand needle we can turn our work to the purl side. And now we're going to purl all of those single stitches. So you can see we had turned the twin stitch into a, a single stitch again. So we'll just purl that as usual. Purl all of our regular purl stitches until we get to the shadow wrap purl stitch. So there we go. You can see it looks like two stitches coming out of one. That's our first shadow wrap on the purl side. And again, you're going to work these two stitches as one. So purl those together as one stitch. And now again, we're going to take our shadow wrap purl and turn it into a triple. So again, put your working yarn to the front, slip those two stitches to your right hand needle, locate that purl bump, scoop it up, and use your working yarn to purl that bump. And now we have three stitches coming out of our original stitch. Place those back onto your left hand needle purl wise and turn your work. And we'll just continue to do this until all of our shadow wraps have been worked. Again, knit all your regular stitches until you get to your next shadow wrap, which happens to be a triple shadow wrap. So this time, instead of knitting two together, we're going to knit three together, just like so. And as you can see, that just makes it look like one stitch. Now we need to turn that shadow wrap into a triple stitch. Again, lift up that stitch below, place it on the left hand needle, knit into it, place it back on the left hand needle, and we've turned that double wrap into a triple. We have our stitch on our left hand needle, so now we're ready to turn our work and we'll continue on the purl side. Purl all of the purl stitches until you get to your first shadow wrap, whether it be a twin or a triplet. Okay, that one's normal and that one's normal. So now we've reached our first shadow wrap, which is a triplet. So again, purl the three stitches together as one. And now we're going to turn that double stitch into a triple, just as we did before. Purl that, place it back on your left hand needle, purl wise, all three triplets, and then turn your work. 
So as you can see, we're working those wraps. We had six before and now we have four on the left side, four on the right. So we're gonna continue this, working our stitches normally in the middle and then working either a double or a triple as one and then turning the next shadow wrap into a triple. So I'm gonna continue doing this. I'll speed up the video so you can see when I get to my final shadow wraps, when we have one shadow wrap left on the left side and the right side. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so I've worked to my last set of shadow wraps. As you can see, I have one shadow wrap left on the left side and one shadow wrap left on the right. And those happen to be triple shadow wrap stitches. So again, I'm going to knit all of my regular knit stitches on my left hand needle. And when I get to that last shadow wrap, I'm gonna work them as one. Okay, so I have a triple set of shadow wraps. I'm simply gonna knit those together. And instead of turning my work, I'm out of stitches to wrap and turn. So I'm just going to continue my sock. You will work in pattern on your front of your sock stitches. And if you were using a contrast color for your heel, you'll go ahead and pick up your working yarn and work your front sock stitches in that yarn color. But since I'm doing one color, I'm just going to go ahead and work these stitches as normal. And that first stitch, I try to knit a little tighter because of that transition from my shadow wrap. So I'm going to knit these stitches and you'll continue your uh, sock pattern that you'll be following. If you're doing cables or a lace stitch, you'll continue that on these front sock stitches. But now we've made it around to that first shadow wrap, which is a triplet stitch. And all we're gonna do at this point is work those as one, just as we did before. So these will be knitted together. And I like to keep my yarn nice and tight, my working yarn. So I've knitted those three twin, st the twin stitch all together as one. And now I can go ahead and complete the rest of my sock. So after your heel cup is finished, of course you're ready to join back in the round and work the rest of your sock. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish this row and then show you guys that heel cup that we created. As you can see, it's of course not seamless, but there are absolutely no holes in our work because of picking up those uh, twin and triplet stitches and working them together as one. You can see on the left and the right side. There are absolutely no holes that you have to worry about when you're done with your sock. So those are the shadow wrap stitches. And that is how we create the shadow wrap heel cup. I hope this video helps you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>